Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living Preparation. God uses all our experiences, circumstances, trials, and fears to prepare us for the opportunity that he will bring at just the right time. God used tending sheep as a form of preparation in David's life. What seemed like an ordinary task with little meaning God used to save Israel, his nation, from the Philistines. David learned to play the harp while tending the sheep. David learned to fight bears and lions to protect the sheep. All of his preparation of skills and abilities was used at just the right time. Most importantly, God was preparing David's heart. David had a heart for the Lord such that the Spirit of the Lord was on David. Your wilderness experience is the preparation needed to shape your heart toward God. Can he trust you with the opportunity? Opportunities come disguised as problems. Opportunity is the timing of God with preparation. God likes to use the problems in life to test, to test your heart to see what is really inside. When you're tested and squeezed, what comes out? Can you say, as as the Apostle Paul said, count it pure joy when you suffer trials? Because suffering trials is testing your faith. If you're not faithful over little, he cannot trust you with the true riches of heaven. Well done, that good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a little. I'll put you in charge of much. Greater responsibility comes through faithfulness and perseverance. He that has will be given more. He that does not have what he has will be taken away. What you have is faithfulness of trusting God through the trial, adversity, or storm. Your faithfulness through the circumstance or problem is the preparation that God uses to test what is really in your heart. Never ever give up. Continue and persevere through your trial or circumstance. Look at every problem today as an opportunity. God uses everything for your good to shape your character. He uses suffering for your good because he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Receive God's love today. Go and love God and others. Amen and amen.